Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and complete guide on how to play Yao. He is a very classy hero with a lot of outplay potential, cool looking abilities and uh, the design itself and the concept of uh, bringing in the star constellations and star power all that makes him a really fun hero to play overall i'm going to be going over all of his abilities and i'll give you guys some combos that you can do with him and i will share the best build in my opinion for him and how you should engage and all the tips will be following at the end of the video so make sure to watch till the end uh, to learn completely how to play him and uh, one favor, if you like these tutorials and guides that I've been uh, dropping, please make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button and like this video so that a lot more people can watch this and it will really help out my channel. Now with that being said, let us get straight into the tutorial. Starting off with the passive of Yao, every time he uses an ability on an enemy, he will regen some HP. So as you can see 125, 125 and even if I alt, 125 again so this will increase based on his attack damage so once you are fully built i usually go for a full attack build with him and only one defense item and i play him in the jungle by the way so now he will be healing more than what he uh, did like uh, when he had no equipments okay so this is the first passive and then every time he uses an ability he gets one stack below his hp bar you can see the three bars right so those are his stacks once he gets three stacks all three of his abilities will get enhanced so right now this is how the abilities look right but watch what happens when they get enhanced they turn into golden color so let us just use three and these are the enhanced abilities they are slightly better than his normal abilities okay we'll get into that when we talk about the abilities one more thing that the game doesn't mention anywhere and i had to play him for some time to learn about it and that is called star reduction so star reduction is his passive uh, as well and that what that does is whenever he takes damage 40% of the damage won't be dealt to him immediately so uh, pay attention to his HP bar when I take damage from the tower I lose some green but then there is some yellow watch carefully can you see it and now I'm slowly taking the damage right 90 90 90 so what happens is whenever he takes damage he won't take 100% of the damage. This is a very good passive because that automatically makes him slightly tanky. He won't die immediately. So let us say an enemy is attacking you and they are dealing 1000 damage. Because of this passive, they will immediately only deal 600 damage. The remaining 400 will be dealt slowly over the course of the next 2 seconds. You understood? So what that allows Yao to do is if he can heal up before that he will survive right so if if i am taking a lot of damage from the tower and my hp drops to really low amounts what i can do is instead of like dying i can just if i attack the enemy i will heal up right i can heal up by attacking the enemy which will prevent me from dying so this is very good when he when you dive into the midst of uh, a team fight and all four enemies are attacking even with a full attack build you will be slightly tanky and if you have some lifesteal which he automatically has in his build he will be able to live for much longer than he is supposed to live so that is another passive that's called star reduction okay one more passive of uh, yao is that if his abilities are all on cooldown so right now all my abilities are on cooldown right but once i open up the three stacks all three abilities will come out of cooldown just so you can use that one enhanced ability keep that in mind so if i use the abilities three times all three will appear but they are actually on cooldown it's just that one enhanced ability can be used that is all okay so this is another passive of yao one more thing about his passive is that whenever he uses the enhanced ability his next auto attack will be enhanced as well so if i use an ability now the next auto attack he will jump and attack the enemy okay so watch watch it once again so this is normal auto attack right 
if I am having two stacks, I will be doing the normal auto attack. If I have three stacks, again normal auto attacks. But when I consume the stack, I will do the enhanced auto attack. Now before we talk about the first ability, the second ability and the ultimate, I just want to make one thing clear and that is these stacks will never go away. So right now I have one stack, right? If I don't do anything, the stacks won't disappear. So you can permanently have these stacks. But once you have three stacks, you have some duration. The bar, once it goes down fully, the stacks will disappear. So having one or two stacks is not a problem. You can permanently have them. But once you use the third stack, you have to immediately use another ability or else it will just disappear and uh, it will reset. Okay. And also, I told you that all the abilities have two types. So one is the normal form, one is the enhanced form. The enhanced form is very simple. Uh, so whenever he uses an ability, he will gain star power. The stack, right? The stacks are called star power. Once he get three stacks, a star will come and attack so it's all normal abilities but they happen two times let me show you with the first ability i might have confused some people here but let me explain and you will understand so i have two stacks now if i use the first ability he just spins around and attacks the enemy as you can see here we deal 1076 uh, 78 damage right so it's just basic just spins around deals damage 1078 but watch what happens when it's enhanced he will attack two times watch it so now it's enhanced did you see that he spin uh, he did a spin two times 1078 1078 the second spin is a star coming and attacking so it's not him attacking it's a star it's the star power okay so he spins once but then another star comes around and attacks the enemy this is important to understand the second ability for first ability it's pretty simple he just spins two times we can say like that and finish but second ability is complicated so what happens when he uses the second ability is he goes from the left like a curve and attacks the enemy dealing some damage so 510 did you see that so he deals 510 damage but once it's enhanced instead of going from the left he will go from the right right and the star power i told you right whenever it's enhanced the star will come and attack that star will go from the left so it will be like you uh, like o shape so normally it's just c shape right but when it's enhanced you will see the o shaped symbol one he will go from the right two a star will attack from the left watch this got three stacks and look at this you have it the symbol so let's let's see what happens one two three and now if i attack instead of going from the left i went from the right but another light came around from the left and attacked the enemy and that light will be able to stun the enemies and knock them up into the air watch it did you see that I went from the left but a light came and attacked and stunned the puppet so that is the second ability third ability is similar it's exactly like the first ability whatever he does that light will also mimic so whenever you use the third ability he will go back by three seconds so you can see that a, an yellow color thing is following me right an yellow color thing is following me can you see that that is not very complicated that is uh, where I was three seconds ago. So if I press my ultimate now, I will go back to that yellow color dot. It's it's not complicated at all. So if I click it, I go back by three seconds. So that dot is nothing but ex my location three seconds ago, and that is where he will go if you use your if you use his ultimate. Okay, while going, he will deal damage to all the enemies that are standing in the way. So if I'm going to attack that enemy. I can do this did you see that 900 magic damage that we dealt to them that is the damage of his ultimate instead of dealing physical damage that ultimate deals magic damage what happens when it's enhanced it's same thing the damage happens two times one he will attack and two another star will come and attack watch this if I go back now did you see that first I did the 998 again another 998 popped up that is the star power attacking okay so these are his abilities 
Also, also the ultimate will slow down the enemies that it hits for two seconds. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. It will slow down the enemies that are hit by it by uh, fifty percent for two seconds. Okay, now let me give you some combos. Um, so for this first combo to work, you need two stacks. So before you come into the fight, you have to have two stacks and this combo is very useful when you are attacking an enemy who is a squishy, like if it's a marksman or a mage, this combo can e easily one shot them with of course this attack build, full attack build and you will be able to one shot them and then come out alive. So what you have to do is, make sure that you have the distance properly calculated. So the whole plan is to use the second ability two times. So normally if I use the, the second ability, it will go into cooldown, right? It's a six second cooldown. But when you have two stacks, it will allow you to, when you use another ability, it will allow you to uh, use all three abilities, uh, like one of the other three abilities one time, right? So right now I have two stacks. If I use S2, my S2 will come back again. So I can use it to go close to him immediately. So watch this, one, two, this is the combo okay so right now all my abilities are on cooldown but did you see what happened there so i have two stacks so when i get the third stack i will get all the abilities back right so that allows me to use the second ability two times so since i'm using it two times i'm able to go close to an enemy who is standing so far away so i go like one two attack and then come back so the, the follow-up is so we start with the second ability, S2, S2, S1, auto attack, ultimate two times. So that is the combo, S2, S2, S1, auto attack, ult, ult. So if you do it very fast, you will be able to come back so far away because the ultimate takes you back three seconds. So you should be able to do it very quickly. That is why I can't come so far away this time. But when I first did it, since I did it very fast, I will come all the way in front of the tower, see? one two see i went attacked him so far away and then i managed to come back here okay so that is the coolest combo that i was able to find and uh, next combo let's go to the next combo so this is the second combo that i would suggest and for this combo you need one stack and all three abilities out of cooldown and you have to be close to that enemy you can do this against mages and marksmen but you can also do this against warriors so what you should do is once you go close within the range of the, the second ability, you should be able to hit them with the second ability, okay? So, S2, S1, S1, auto attack, come back. So, this time you are de uh, doing two S1. So, S1 deals a lot of damage, right? You know how much damage it deals. It deals 1000 damage when it's fully built against that puppet. So, you deal 2000 damage and then you also come back out before they can attack you. So, you go within the range. You need one stack for this. You need one stack. With one stack, you go straight towards the enemy. S2. S2, S1, S1, ult, and then come back. No, no. S2, S1, S1, auto attack, ultimate, and come back. Once again, let's do it. S2, S1, S1, auto attack, ult. Got it? So this is another combo. This combo will easily one-shot marksmen and mages as well. But the one problem is they'll be, as soon as they see you coming, they will run away. So that is why that first combo, like let us do that first combo once again. This is very useful. So yeah, this is another combo for Yao. Okay, now let me show you guys the combo in uh, action. So here we go. I'm attacking Levi. Look at how quick it was. It's It feels so cool to do the combo. And again, Milady, this time going in the middle of the team fight and dealt a lot of damage to Lady Sun there. Again, this is not the standard combo, but I had to improvise here and uh, I had to take out uh, Lady Sun. So this might be uh, the case most of the time. You might need to improvise. So there is no standard combo. I gave you the two standard combos and if you manage to pull off the combo properly with enough gold you'll be able to surely one shot a hero and then come out but uh, if you don't you have to improvise and you have to use all the abilities you know what the abilities are now and you have to like uh, think 
in that spot and then decide what you are going to do with the abilities i will surely update this more after playing yao for like a 10 15 matches if i play more i'll get uh, a few more combos and i will update uh, this tutorial uh, so yeah right now the hero just got released and i wasn't able to get him because someone else will immediately pick the hero when i tried to go and pick him so it was really annoying today i only got this one match with him and we were able to play really well that match so yeah i'm glad we at least got this to see this is just uh, really cool to watch so i will go today and i'll start playing him more and i will come back to you guys with a lot more combos but right now try to do these two combos properly and then when the combo fails try to improvise from there and yeah now i would recommend you guys to play him in the jungle because he needs to get the power spike to start dealing damage because early game he is so bad his damage is very low so if you are a jungler you will be able to quickly farm all the jungle creeps might get even a kill uh, during a team fight and then you can also farm some gold in the different lanes that you go and you will be able to get to your power spike that is this equipment once you get the master sword you will be very strong but if you are not going to do that and if you go to the clash lane you will easily lose lane to a lot of enemy heroes because he is very weak in the early game so i would not suggest you to play him in the clash lane and uh, try to play him in the jungle and this will be your build for uh, playing him in the jungle so we go full attack basically and then the last equipment is going to be a defense and this is an armor but if you are facing two mages or if the enemy mage is your only problem then you should consider changing this and getting a magical defense item instead um, like this one the succumbus cloak or uh, the long night guardian so it depends upon the match of the last equipment or you can even get uh, the sages sanctuary if you want to resurrect and then come back and fight again you can even consider getting sages uh, sanctuary with him okay so this is the build now the arcana this is the arcana that i am using on him it's basically full attack arcana again so we are going to maximize on the damage that we are going to deal because we have a pretty decent amount of sustain in our build uh, in in the form of star reduction so yeah this is the build and arcana for this hero so that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful if you did please make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button and also like this video so it gets promoted to a huge audience i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video